There are many different ways to control a BLDC motor. In this video, we'll explain one of these ways. That is, using RS-485 serial interface to control the motor. For this purpose, we're gonna need these electrical devices. A BLDC motor, of course, and a controller, DC power supply, and an RS-485 to USB conversion module. And here is the basic wiring diagram. Here are the detailed wiring steps. Firstly, connect RS-485 interfaces A and B of the controller to T-R plus and T-R minus of the conversion module, respectively. Then, DIP switch SW3 must be set to OFF in speed close mode. After finishing hardware setup, it's necessary to learn about the Modbus RTU protocol. The two major codes to be used here are write command 06 and read command 03. It's needed to take note of the default command code of RS-485 for open port, as well as the station number and board rate of the controller. Following are necessary steps to start up the motor. Keywords include station number, board rate, RS-485 interface, rotation direction, and speed setting. Make sure that all RS-485 ports concerned have been perfectly wired. The USB port is directly plugged into the PC or the host computer. We are going to use the testing software for trial. First, we should set the COM port. You can find the COM port of the RS-485 USB hardware driver in the PC device manager. Set board rate to 38400, the rated value of the controller. Set the communication protocol format to Modbus RTU mode. Set the command code format to hexadecimal. Open serial communication. Execute write command 06 to open the RS-485 port of the controller. Returning the track code A9EC indicates that the command code is correct and the RS-485 interface has been opened. Next is to input the code for direction of rotation. Write the forward rotation code 0001 into address 0066. If the return value is the same as the input value, it means the code is sent correctly. Write 1000 RPM, hex value 03E8 to address 0056. The motor starts spinning the moment the command is executed. Then, let's check out the current speed. Execute read command 03 to get the value in address 0056. The result is 03E7, decimal 999 RPM. And how could we stop the motor? Using write command 06, 
write speed double zero double zero, the command for zero speed, into double zero fifty six. The motor stops rotating upon the command. Input the speed to double zero fifty six again. Then the motor resumes rotation. If you didn't use the track code, you can leave it blank, as some software will automatically calculate it. Send the code, and you can see the motor starts up again. Code sixty nine sixty four is the track code automatically calculated by the software. We can use it to check whether the return data is correct. In addition to stopping the motor by setting the speed to zero, there is another way to achieve this purpose. Send double zero double zero command for stopping the motor to the double zero double six address. In this case, if you want to restart the motor. You need to write the command for rotation double zero zero one to the double zero double six address, and double zero zero two is meant for reverse rotation. That's all for the video. If you'd like to have such a complete motor control solution for yourself, please contact us. We provide cost-effective motors in various designs and configurations, as well as mating controllers and software. Technical support is available for free. You can find purchase links down below in the description.